Why do we choose LPFM radio as our primary focus? To answer that question, we ask, how does LPFM radio differ from Internet radio? Internet radio production equipment creates digital audio files which are sent to a computer server that sends audio to another computer when someone links to the website. The receiving computer must have compatible software that will play the files. Some of the main areas of difference include bandwidth, constrictions of interconnection, accessibility, and familiarity. To reach a remote computer, the listener, the server where the programming is stored needs to use an online connection between itself and the receiver. The capacity, bandwidth, of this connection is more than what is needed for email or text, and it costs more. The program originator pays for the bandwidth to distribute their audio files, and the more bandwidth they use, the more expensive it is. Once you get past a few listeners, you have to pay for a bigger connection and bigger servers. This can get quite expensive rather quickly if you start to reach a large audience. Because of this cost, most Internet stations are ultra-specialized and have very small audiences. Only a small minority has the broadband connections and powerful computers that are required to make Internet radio as easy to listen to and of comparable quality to FM radio. Just as the producer pays for wider bandwidth to put their audio onto the internet, the listener needs access to larger bandwidth to receive it, and they pay for it on their end. In many rural regions, such bandwidth is not available, and even where it is, the cost may be prohibitive for private users. For low-income, elderly, or minority populations, access to broadband service may be limited, so the potential audience for Internet radio plummets further. Reaching people over the Internet means reaching them one at a time, whereas radio can reach anyone within the frequency range. There is a problem of listeners finding your station. Making people aware of your station, helping them find it online, and successfully competing with thousands of other services is a major marketing challenge that keeps many audio efforts very small. It is especially difficult if you are trying to serve a particular geographic region or a community with special concerns or needs. Of those who do use the Internet, many use it only for work or email. Except for younger people, the public is not accustomed to using the Internet for radio listening so they need to be encouraged to begin doing so. So with those concerns in mind, the answer as to why do we choose LPFM radio is our primary focus. Our aim is more localized, and we plan to create a community-targeted media hub in which traditional radio broadcasting will serve our needs better for making a personal one-on-one -on -one connection to spread the desire to participate in productions throughout the community. In our rural community, the radio will serve as a means of distributing the content already being made by local groups, going live to the events to record them. We will also produce original content, thereby encouraging an expansion in our arts and cultural happenings, as well as encouraging sharing of other types of contents, such as interviews and historical biographical life sharings. Our rural area has limited broadband service available, which is costly, and which relies upon cables which are affected during our severe weather conditions. Being unavailable sometimes for weeks, this is not capable of fulfilling our emergency broadcast mission. Our primary population is over the age of 50 and listen more to radio than to Internet offerings. And further, as a nonprofit, we wish to limit our ongoing expenses, which are not covered by grants. Whereas we can find funding to set up the LPFM radio station, as that is a limited program expense, there are very few grants which cover ongoing operational cost as would be required for Internet radio. However, we are aware that the future is moving towards Internet radio, and we will join that landscape 
to reach listeners outside of our immediate radio range, including our national and international audience, which has been developing through our website and YouTube channel. We will share our community with them, as we now do through those avenues of communication. Thank you.